neighborhood library witch here at the South Cobb Regional Library. And I am so glad that everyone came back today. So we're going to go ahead and get started by putting on our wizarding hats. So I'll give everyone just a minute to pause the video and to go get their hat. And when you come back, it will be time to get started. All right, does everyone have their hats now? If you don't have a real hat, that's okay. And it does not be a fancy hat either. So I'm gonna put on my hat and I invite you all to put on yours as well. Okay, so now it is time for me to tell you what we're gonna be looking at today. Today's theme is secret messages. Here is my secret message that I wrote for all of you, and I hope you can figure out what it says after we've worked through our code a little bit today. So you may have made a similar craft using binary, which is the language that computers encode information in. But if you know anything about binary, you'll know that it takes a lot more room than the code that I just used, which is called Morse code. And you can see a quick guide to it right here. And so you can see that some of the letters, like A and E, are really short, while some of the others, like Y, Z, V, etc., are longer. And in binary, all of the letters are longer. So if you want to make your secret messages the same way that I did, are a few basic supplies that you'll need. You'll need some yarn and beads and you'll need your cipher which is the key for how you're going to figure out your code. So I'm just going to stick with the Morse code right here and use this as my cipher. But you can actually make up your own code as long as you and the person that you're sending your message to know what you've written and how to decode it, then you'll, your code's perfectly fine. It doesn't need to be anything specific. So I started by picking up my yarn and I'm just going to tie a small knot here on the end. And with Morse code, you want to put some space at the beginning in between every letter, just so you know how things break up. So, you need to just figure out, once again, how you're going to encode your information. So, in this case, I'm going to use a purple bead to start, and I am just going to write something really simple for all of you. Just so you can figure out how I've made the secret message, and you can spend some time figuring it out. So, one bead so that we know that it's going to start. And I'm going to use black dots, black beads for the dots, and white beads for the slashes. And the way that actually works is in Morse code, it generally is transmitted through sound. So the slash is twice as long as the dot. But since we're using beads, we're going to use white beads and black beads. So what I am going to write is just read. So I need a black bead. And if your yarn is really problematic like mine is, then you can get some tape or glue and make sure that it's hard and solid at the end. So, one black bead. One white bead. One white bead and then one more black bead. So there we have the letter R. And now I place a 
purple bead right there in the middle, just so that we know between the letter R and the letter E. And I will continue to work on this while you think about what you want your secret message to say and what you want your language to be for how you code this. Once you have all of the letters that you want to put in your word, then you can just put on one final bead in the color that you were using between your letters and tie it off. And if you wanted to use more than one word in your message, like in the long one I showed you to start with, then you would want to put seven of the spacing beads between there so it can get a lot longer or it can be a lot shorter depending upon what you want your message to read so there you go there is read right there r-e-a-n-d so you can see that message and I'll show you the long message again and you can try to figure out what that says and if you actually figure out what it reads then I can't wait for you to post online or to come in the library to let me know all right I will take our cipher and I'll move it so that it's under the secret message and you can see what everything says we get everything onto the screen together there. All right. All right, everybody. I hope you had a ton of fun today and you learned something interesting and I can't wait to see what you guys will make with your new secret message skills. And I also really can't wait to see how many of you can figure out what my bracelet says. So if you figure that out, you should email me and let me know or post online saying that you know what the secret message is. So, all right, I will see you all next month.